Verse number one. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. This is the smia. Prophet ﷺ has instructed all of us to say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim before we start doing anything. And uh, Prophet ﷺ has told us that if we will not recite Bismillah before starting any activity or any piece of work, then the work or the activity or the action, it will get deprived of the barakah. And um, that is why we recite Bismillah before we start doing anything according to the instructions of Hadith. Similarly, when um, somebody starts eating food, Hadith says that when somebody starts eating food without saying Bismillah, then Shaitan becomes a party and starts sharing the food. And uh, so we also, uh, there is also another Hadith which tells us that if a person leaves his food behind in his plate, even then the shaitan becomes a partner in the meal. And uh, Hadith also teaches us that if we forget, uh, we just forget to recite Bismillah at the start of our meal, and we just uh, happen to remember in between that we did not recite Bismillah, then we should recite Bismillahi awwalahu wa akhirahu. And uh, also to highlight that if we are reciting Bismillah at the beginning of the meal, or we are reciting Bismillahi awwalahu wa akhirahu at the, uh, in between the meal, if we tend to forget, we should recite it loudly. The point being that if somebody has forgotten, we will help that person remember. And moreover, if there are children on the table as well, they will keep on listening to the recitation of Bismillah or Bismillahi Ambalahu wa Akhiruhu repeatedly. And they will also develop the habit and remember when these children who have developed the habit by just listening to our Bismillah, they will their recitation of Bismillah before the food will become a source of reward for us also. Verse number two, Alhamdulillahi wa bil alameen. All praise is due to Allah, who is the Lord of the worlds. Alhamdulillah. This these two are very important words. They make the starting of the Quran, they make the starting of our Salah. These are the words we start our day with. Alhamdulillah, Hillazi, Ahyana, Badama, Amatina, Wa Ilayhin, Yushur. And these are the words when we meet each other and we greet each other. And when somebody asks her, how are you? What do we say? Alhamdulillah. Then these are the words we also say when we complete our food and our meal. And uh, when we get a good news, we have been taught to recite Alhamdulillah Hilladi Alhaba An al Hadani wa inna Rabbana la Rafur in Shakur. And uh, we see somebody in hardships or in a calamity and crisis. And even then, Prophet Salavalism has taught us to recite the words Alhamdulillah Hilladi Afani Mimabdalahu Bihi. And uh, then when we sneeze, we say Alhamdulillah. And you know what? The first verse of uh, the Sermon of Nikah, which Prophet ﷺ used to recite, the first verse is also, the first words of the Sermon of Nikah are also Alhamdulillah. So it is, uh, these two words are of very, uh, very important. And the meaning is, Al means all or the, and hamd means praise. So alhamdu means what? All praise be to whom? Allah. 